Kirk Franke. I'm a lead amateur triathlete and a middle school teacher. Math teacher. Um, I decided to have LASIK because I've had a lot of issues in my training and racing, uh, mostly having to do with swimming. I'm a very good swimmer, and it's great to get out in front of the crowd. But the problem is I can't really sight the buoys. So in my racing, I've been left with the option of either trying to stay behind someone until I get close enough to the buoys so I can see them, or try to go off on my own, which ends up leading me in back and forth attacking to try to find the buoy. So my swim times have not been as good as I think they should be. I've been very lucky in my career, despite not being able to swim, see and mm -hmm. swim straight. Um, I've been on I think 10 national teams, uh, placing in the top five at World Championships on three occasions, uh, once in Ironman Kona and two IT races. So I'm also really excited about being able to teach better. Students love it when my glasses fall off my face onto their papers. <laughs> so hopefully this the LASIK will uh, alleviate that problem as well. Um, I'm just really excited to be able to see without my glasses. Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Patterson with Colorado Ophthalmology. Uh, Colorado Ophthalmology is a comprehensive ophthalmology practice that has been in existence in the Denver area since 1960. The actual LASIK uh, surgery experience is, is um, a, a pretty non-threatening uh, experience for most patients. The time in the laser suites are, is, a, is typically only about 15 minutes. Uh, the procedure is uh, essentially pain-free. And uh, afterwards, the, the recovery time is a matter of uh, three to four hours. Kirk just, just did fantastic. He uh, was, uh, had absolutely no discomfort during the, the procedure and uh, was able to drive himself to his uh, one-day post-op appointment with his kids and was uh, uh, seeing 2015 in both eyes the, the very uh, wow. next day. I have one regret, and that is I didn't do it earlier. <laughs>